Hi guys and welcome back to the ZZ Bill Show. It's been quite a while, but you know we're back and we're back with Castillo. Big man thing, yeah. What go on? Have you actually got a big dick though? Yeah, bruv, you wanna open your mouth and you can measure it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you got a deep throat. Oh my fucking gosh. <laughs> Even I don't even know what to say. That is that is very rude. Rev, what are you talking about? That's rude. You just asked me that mad question. Because you just said you just said you you come with this big dick energy all the Do time. Do I? You think I come with big dick all energy all the time on your gram? All I see is big dick energy you all think so? the time. I just think I look like like come across a bit like a prick in it. Like I don't think. Yeah, that's what I mean. Big dick energy. So I'm. What well, big dick energy is coming across like a prick? Yeah, like you're very sure of yourself. You're always talking about blowing out people's backs yeah, and whatever. Yeah, I get whatever. a lot of pussy, I get a lot of pussy. I can't lie. Do you? Yes. Is it good pussy, though? Yes. Or is it just like mediocre nah, pussy? Nah, bro. I'm not getting like fucking Shepherd's Bush Market pussy, bro. I'm getting like legit <laughs> Do you... Westfield's pussy, bro. A1 pussy. Westfield is not great pussy. You didn't even say like, you didn't even say really? like Hatton Gardens pussy. I ain't never been there, bro. So you nah, didn't I'm even say not. like Bond Street where all those designers are. You just said... Westfield. No, no, no. Which, I like my what, things what, a bit hood in it. What Westfield like do you go? To? What Westfield are you talking about? Shatford. Both. Okay, because at Both. least the one in White City, there's um, designer village there. You you say you get a lot of vagina. Yeah. So do you like date girls or do you yeah. just call them? Do you know what? It's, do I date girls? Do you take yeah. them out? Yeah, you got to take a girl out. You even gotta take a girl out. Every type of girl. Every type. Of, even the the slaggiest girl, bruv, You got to take her out. The slaggiest of slaggy girls, you got to take them out. And where do you take them? Depends, innit? Like, it depends. It de- the thing is, yeah, because even if a girl's a bit slaggy, like, she might be a bit bougie, innit? So, like, you think to yourself, like, mm, you got to weigh it up. Some girls are a bit more humble. You could just take her to, like, a local place, take her to Nando's, take her somewhere, TGI's or whatever. If she's a bit bougie, you might have to show a bit more, innit? Like, but, what's your bougie? I know, you know, tell a lie. I don't spend more than 40, 50 pounds on a date, bruv. Each or whole, the bill? The whole bill. That's between pounds. both of us. <laughs> That's between both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I pay more than that, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> where, are you, where are you going? Bruv, there's many places. you know why I used to take things? Go to Shepherd's Bush, yeah? Shepherd's Bush Chop Shop. This is what I used to do. I used to go to Shepherd's Bush Chop Shop, yeah? What is it? Chicken? No, it's like a Chinese food place, yeah? Yeah. It's like a little spot where bare people, after work people go, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, you can get... This is what I used to do, yeah? Get some special fried rice, yeah? Mm. A starter for both of you. Your whole bill would be like £20. I fucked bare things off the gun. So what, you chop. just got special fried rice and two starters? No, nah, so I got special fried rice. She might get a, like, she, I'll get a main, she'll get a main and two starters in it. That's under 20 pound in Chop Chop. And I'm telling you, I used to fuck bare things off the Chop Chop. And I'm from West Innit, so I live near. So as soon as like... Literally... Do, you, do you respect women? Of course I respect women. Like, I'm raised because, by a woman. Yeah, I know, but it's like, the vibe you give off is as if you don't respect women. Like, women that, are, what, like women are just... Women are at your dispose. You dispose of them. You fuck. You dash. Do you, you know, actually... Do you have no, no, a do relationship? Not, it's, not, it's not a thing about, like... Like, it's not a thing about respect. It's like, after like three, four times, like, usually I get bored of fucking someone, innit? So then that's just all it is. I fuck someone well, up about three or four times and then after that I just get a new... T- yeah, but, yeah, but then why don't you maybe not try to fuck them and, like, get to know them and actually have a relationship? No, no, do you know what the thing is? Like, some people is cool, but then at the same time, I just get bored really quick. So I have get... you ever had a relationship? Yeah. When was your relationship. last relationship? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> when was, like, when you know was your last relationship? Like, you know, or, when was the last or you getting into trouble now because there's girls that bought that was <laughs> no, 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 girl, no, no, but yeah. they're not really a girl. I was girl. Like, talking about personal, my two personal business on this thing, bro. What but all I'm saying is, I've been in relationships, yeah? Yeah, when was the last I've one? I've been in relationships, that's all I'm saying. And how long did they last for? My past relationships, to be honest with you, I had like... Probably like about eight or nine relationships going concurrently. What? So I'd like, I had like eight things, but they were like concurrent relationships. So like, basically, I saw one thing for like four years. While I was seeing her, I saw another one for like two between that, then another one for one, then another... Boy, if you don't wait, wait, like wait. So you were seeing bare girls at the same time? Yeah, but they were like relationships, and I had side, other side things. But then I had like long term relationships throughout. But you just said you were seeing, you had a girl for four years. Yeah, but I had like nine. And, girl, and then, I had nine real girlfriends, and then like well, side had, things as well. You had nine real girlfriends. Real girlfriends, as in like consistent. in your lifespan. No, no, no. I'm talking about as in like in, a, in a, say like for example, four years. Yeah, I've seen a girl for four years. During that time, I had like about. A few other girlfriends as well. Some of them lasted a year, two years, three years. Concurrent. So you were just doing like what? multiple wives' life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did these girls know about each other? 
probably do now, innit? And how did, like, what did, you, what, what did you do? How did the money stretch for nine girlfriends? Hmm. No, you're tight and shit. You I'm not trying to No, did you know what I'm thinking? You don't, I don't want it like a dickhead, innit? I don't want to come off like a point. It's too late. You just said well, you have been like this, nine girls at the same time. Basically, it's like... Wait, can I ask you a question? At the time, I was mad struggling. You, was having, it, so like, you had sex with all of them, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes and were you I'd using see... condoms? Mm, some, yeah. Some so you're just barebacking nine girls at the same time? Not nine. Some I would, some I wouldn't, because I wouldn't trust some of them. Um, so wait, you, you was at least banging five girls unprotected? About three. Who? <laughs> Girls, this is what I tell you. Listen, but I, the thing is, it's, it's, and they were they were my girlfriends in it, so like I know they're blessed. I know they were blessed in it. I know that they was like they weren't fucking other people in that. So, so you like, had three girls, and you say you respect women. That's nothing to do. With, what's that got to do with respect? Though? That is, you should have enough respect at least if you're gonna cheat on each other. Like wear fucking condoms so you don't. There's not a possibility of like spreading something to another girl. No, 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 no. I never caught nothing. Yeah, but I mean, you don't know because you... I did. I do know. Okay, but how do you know the girls are not sleeping with other guys? You hope they're not. No, no, because they were like legit girlfriends. Do you feel like you're missing something in life? As in what? Like you're trying to fill a gap, like a void, like why you just fuck around with no, their girls. Like, at the time, this was before. This is not now, by the way. This is like mm-hmm. before. I just like to fuck in it. That was all it was. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like fuck. you're missing something? No, I just like to fuck. You've come from a hard background, right? Yeah. Hard upbringing, mm. right? You said that on back chat. You said that your parents were like schizophrenic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you feel like because you maybe didn't have those parent parental figures? Mum and dad. No, no, I'd like, do you know what? To be honest, when it comes to like, having a dad, like, I don't know, like, most people I know, they ain't even really got a dad like that. So I don't. Yeah, but, but that's maybe not a dad, because I feel like women having a dad is very important. That's, that's, they usually say that's like your first love. Your dad is your first love. Yeah. But then they say for men, your first love is your mum. No, my first love then is with my grandmother, because my grandmother adopted me from when I was a baby. So but, like, literally, that's. But, like, but then, so your grandma would be your first, but. I'm like, so, Suppose- basically, so basically, when I had my, when I was born, yeah, when I was born, yeah, my grandmother basically social services trying to take me because both of my parents are schizophrenic, right? Yeah, so then so my biology mum she put me in a hot bath, yeah, and it burnt my feet, yeah, she tried to turn me into a chicken wing, bro. but it's not her fault, in it like she's schizophrenic. So then the moment it happened, so, <laughs> Wait, so, so what do you mean she tried to take because she put me in a hot bath, in it, right, bro? So she put me in a hot bath, burnt off my feet, and then literally social service came around. They're like, yeah. You gotta get this guy the fuck out of here. And my grandmother took me, brought me to Dominica, and laid low for like about nine years. Yeah, but then, like, even the way you talk about it is so like just candid. There's yeah, no, because it's just, but there's no emotion behind you even saying that. Because it's just life, isn't it? It's just, no, but that's it's just not life. Happens. That's not like my mum didn't put me in a hot bath and try to make me a chicken. <laughs> 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 No, no, I get what, what you mean. What I'm trying to say is, like, it's not our fault in it. So, like, I met, her at, I met her at nine, so, like, I ain't got no attachments to oh, her like that's that. But, but that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe do you think your lack of just not... Re- I don't want to say... I, I do feel no, because like you what, respect women, but... No, because it's like my grandmother was my mum, yeah? My grandmother adopted me when she was, like, 50. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, literally, she, I knew her to be my mum until when, I, when she brought me back up to England. She was like, I'm not your mum. Yeah, you like but mom? then that's what I'm saying. Do you not think that's fucked nah, cause when she, No, nah, because when she met, showed, she was like, oh, do you want to meet your mum? I met my mum. I was like, no, nah, I don't like her. You're my mum. And that was it. Yeah, but I, I feel like psychological, that would have an effect on somebody. No, nah, because for nine years, my grandma's been my mum. I didn't know any other, di- no, no different. Do you know what I'm going to say? So then when I came back up here, I was just, and I met my real mum, I was like... So do you, do you have a relationship with your mum now? Yeah, I see her from. I see all the time, and I'm just. I see all the time. I just go to the her yard, and I'm just like, yo, what's good? Have a little quick conversation, but like, I don't like. There's no like bond. Nah, there's nothing there. Like, she's just her in it, and I'm just. But that's what I'm saying. I I don't know, like psychologically, but I I have like read things where usually if a guy's relationship with their mother is strained, then that does have an effect on their relationship with women that's, across the board. It would be different if like I knew from like being born that this is not my mum. But imagine my grandmother. I knew her to be my mum for nine years, so it's like mum, 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 and then. At nine years old, she's just like, I'm not your mum. Do you want to meet your mum? And I was like, oh, you're not my mum. Let me, let me meet her. We went to meet her. I was just like, nah, don't like her. And that was it. So it's like nine years of having my gran as my mum. So, and then what about your dad? My dad I met at 23. I remember my dad at 23. Him and my mum had a, my real mum had a one night stand in Ealing. I think they were probably high on something, bruv, because my dad's a crackhead, in it? But like, I think they had a one night stand, not think, but they had a one night stand in Ealing, mm-hmm. basically. Um, they fucked and then he just bounced. But was, I, don't think he, I don't think he knew he had a son. He didn't know he had a son. Right. So like literally, when I was, I think, 23, 
like I was with my two half brothers mm -hmm. and they was gonna go meet their dad. So I was like, I wanna go, I wanna come with you. And then they were like, they were acting a bit funny in it. So then when they left, my grand, grand told me, oh, the reason they don't want you to come with them is because their dad is not your dad. So I was like, oh, who's my dad then? She's like, um, I'll find out for you. But she knew, she knew who my dad was. She just didn't want to tell me for a good reason. Mm -hmm. So she didn't want to tell me who he was. So then um, a few months after, she's like, oh, I found, I found out two, two, three months after, she's like, oh, do you want to meet your dad? I found him. And I was like, all right, cool. And she's like, I also found out you have a sister. I was like, oh, cool. And then like the day before I met him, my sister called me up and she's like, oh, hi. Did it, I'm your sister. Did it, did it, I heard you're going to meet dad tomorrow, did it, et cetera, et cetera. A few things I need to tell you about him before you meet him and all that stuff. And then literally, yeah, I met him the next day. But he didn't know about me and I didn't know about him. And now do you have a relationship with him? No, 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 no. He's just like a random dude, in it? It's like going down the road and seeing a guy in a chip shop and it's your dad, in it? Like, just a random guy. But like, even you telling me this now, it, make, it doesn't make me feel sad, but it makes you feel sad. Why? Because it's like... It's like you've just had, obviously you've got, you've had your gran and your gran's raised you and everything yeah. like that. But I still don't, I still feel like there's no love, like a, a parent, like your, your no, because, biological parent. No, that's what parent. I'm saying, like, you're looking at it like because it's biological, but my grandmother is my mum. That's like, that is my biological mum to me. But is there not a sense of like, uh, you feel like your parents didn't want you? No, nah, because they just fucked and it was a one night thing, innit? Ain't it's nothing. I don't look at it that deep. Plus, they had they got schizophrenia, so it's like and major severe schizophrenia, like so I can't really feel a way about that. Do you know what I'm just saying? My dad, I can't you, really feel a way about. Do you ever about get him. scared that that might happen to you? What schizophrenia? Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't smoke weed, bruv. Like I don't smoke weed at all. I just get the feeling I smoke that shit and I lose my hair or something like that, and just go mad. I don't wanna. I don't wanna fuck with that. So that could trigger it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know I mean, so I don't fuck with none of that. I drink, but no weed, nothing. Because I mean? I, I, when I look, I, I met you when I did Bat Chat, yeah, yeah. and I remember telling my friend, I was like, oh, I met Castillo, and actually he's really nice. Yeah. Because when I see you online, and I think kind of this is maybe the same with me, when I saw you online, I, I didn't really like you. I, there's yeah. something about you that just rubbed me up the wrong way. I was like, oh, here we go again, chatting what shit. What rubbed you the wrong way? I don't know, you probably because you're quite confident, and I yeah. don't... I but don't, you're confident, I don't, though. Exactly, so people probably don't like... Me. The, the same reason why I look at you and think, oh, here we go again, is probably what people think about me. Yeah. But I feel like you get a better reception and I do think that's because you're a man and I think you're allowed to speak about sex and whatever but when a woman does it like myself because I think me and you kind of don't do the same kind of thing yeah, yeah. it's just maybe you're a little bit more funnier you put a different yeah. edge on it and I'm just seen as the, the nagging black girl that talks shit do you get what I mean? I Whereas, think probably because I think probably what it is is that I think maybe people just feel like you rub them the wrong way I don't, I, you don't rub me the wrong way but I feel like that's what it is you love but me to I rub, rub you though, I rub, didn't you? <laughs> Now nah, you're a bit skinny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Got to be 14 stone plus. I don't fuck with nothing smaller than that. Wow. Probably 14 stone. Oh, Why? About 12, 13, no, about 12, 13 stone to about 16 stone. Why? I'm like fat, thick girls. You gotta be thick, got all fat. One of them, but curvy. You can well, be like fat and curvy. Toned or nah, you just want like flabs. Big. No, like... not flabs. Like big and curvy. I like thick things, big things. Why? What's the, what is it? Different sensation? No, nah, like I just feel like skinny things. I just snap a skinny thing, right? I just don't know. Too much. Like I'm skinny, innit? I just feel like there'll be too much elbows, like too much poking each other in the ribs and all that. It's just long. <laughs> Big things. They're like cuddly, innit? Like they're just cute, cankles, stretch marks, all of that. It's nice. Do you think that's because you're maybe it's like a motherly figure? No, nah, fuck bare mums, but like. But not like that. Like not like I don't think it's because of that. Like I got a thing because a motherly figure. Like, it's like nurturing. Big women. No, there's like big women. I used to date like a lot of like forty year old things. The oldest I've dated is about fifty five or forty nine. Not dated, fucked, but like forty nine and fifty five is the oldest that I've seen. But I used to just date like forty year old things. So you just you just had a sold out show, your second one. <laughs> you just changed the <laughs> 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 You had a sold out show, yeah. the second one. Your second one, congratulations. And you do it all by yourself. You promote yeah, it, everything by yourself. Yeah. You put your own money into it, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But you also do music. Music is the main... People think I'm a comedian, yeah? I'm not a comedian, yeah? I started my thing only because I did music, yeah? I do music. And it wasn't... And, then nobody, and nobody gave a fuck, like... You do music, yeah. but do you think people actually take your music seriously? Because... Your, your music doesn't get as much views as your, as your, yeah. Brav, like, it's a mad thing, yeah, because, like, when I started the videos in that, it was literally just to leverage it into music. 
Because mm. I was thinking to myself, I was putting my songs on SoundCloud. Nobody was fucking listening to that. So mm. then I started doing videos. Yeah. So I do a video. Somebody took it from my page. It went on Facebook, got three million. Did another one, got like half a million. And then I started getting loads of attention from it. So I thought, fuck it, let me leverage it to my music. Yeah. But it's a weird one because half the people think I'm a comedian. Um, nah. But music is actually your main passion. Yeah, and the thing is, I went from getting like 500 streams on like SoundCloud to like 100,000 now. So it's working, but still, people probably find it hard to fucking to, separate to, the yeah. two in it. But Big Man Sing is the same dude doing everything, isn't it? Like, it's the same. Even events. I used to, but I think because the music is, your music is quite gritty and yeah. your stuff that you do on the gram is it's quite funny. funny. Yeah. So people can't, people are kind of like, well, you're talking this gritty stuff, yeah. but then you're doing funny, funny man stuff things on the gram which one are you but the maddest thing is it's all the same because if you look at it this way when i first started doing music my brethren was like what are you going to talk about and i was yeah. like bro, i'm gonna talk about my life like i just fuck things jam with a man and try to get money and i'm everything i do is just on my ones in it so that's why i'm gonna talk about my music same thing so then when i start doing the videos it's still the same thing they're exactly the same but i think people know me so much for like the banter videos yeah they find it hard to like I, are you really like are you really this outlandish or do you play up to the camera no, like no. some of the stuff you've said on back chat like obviously the one that everyone was like oh, disgusted yeah, 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 by yeah. was with the, when there was a topic about the disability yeah. and you saying that you didn't want your child to look yeah. whatever you said yeah. like do you think to yourself I'm going to say this because I know I'm going to get clicks and I know I'm going to get um, shared on the internet or do you actually just have no filter and you just say whatever comes out of your, you know out what, your mind? With that one, yeah, I like to apologise to people for that one because do you know what it is? It's like, the way I speak, it's literally just, I just say sometimes what's on my mind. I didn't mean it to come across like that. I think what it was is the fact that I got like disabled schizophrenic parents. Sometimes I don't look at that like... So do you think you're desensitised to a lot of things? Yeah, I think that's what it is sometimes because like, like, with me telling you, like, my, like, when I first met my dad, like, the next week I saw him, he was, like, in Greenford High Road smoking crack. I was with my first wifey at the time, and I just saw him, and I was just like, he's, he just was, he didn't even know who I was. Even though I met say him hi? before. No, no, no. I was like, bro, just fucking crackhead, bro. Fuck away from this guy. I just carried on walking. So, when you first met him, what happened? What did he say? So, the first time I met him, I went to... Do you cry? No. Yeah, you don't seem like the type no, of person no that cries. No, crying, bro. It's not going to do nothing. When was the last time you cried? Years ago. I've been trying to make myself. I cried the other, like, actually, I cried like a few months ago, yeah, because I smoked weed. I just tried it for the first time, yeah, and I started crying. Don't know why. I just cried. I was listening to Waves by Normandy, and I started crying. And that song by Normandy, Waves. Where, eh, eh, eh. I feel like. I listened, I smoked it, yeah, tried out, yeah, and I started crying. I felt like I was floating in the air, and I got to the top, and I started falling, and I just started crying. Then I was like, yeah, never, I woke up like six hours later, bruv. I was like, I'm not doing this again. I feel like you've got a soul, but it's cold. <laughs> Who's got a soul? I know, but I feel like your, your, your soul is cold. I don't know, but like, you, you asked me about with my dad, like, well, the first time I met him. When I first met him, we went to like a halfway house, because my dad had come out of prison. He, did, he was in jail for seven years. He came out of jail, and then um, he was in like the, like the weird halfway house kind of thing. And I went there, and then... Some dude opened the door, the dude looked mad crazy. I was like, bruv, I hope that ain't my fucking dad, bruv. Who is this guy? Some Who was your dad? Crackhead. No, no. Was some, oh. Obviously, my dad's a cracker, but this guy was like some super crackhead looking dude. He looked fucking nuts, bruv. And then, like, then um, he's like, oh, would you like to, uh, you here to meet your dad? And I was like, yeah. Then my dad came to the door and I was like, right, that's actually what my dad looks like. Does he look like you? Nah, because, like, okay, so, like, for my whole life, I just thought, like, I'm straight black. Yeah. Yeah? Obviously, people be like, your hair's a bit funny, yeah, yeah. like, da 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 et cetera. But I'd be like, yeah, but I'm black. I'm, I'm yeah. Dominique, right? yeah. like, I'm just black. But then when I met my dad, he opened the door. It was like an Indian dude. So I was like, fucking hell, bruv. And his eyes is, like, green and a bit grey. But I think it's when you smoke mad crack, it... Makes it like the... that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically... Do you, do you want to have kids? I don't know, man. Like, I do. I want to get married? Do you want to have kids? I would get married, to be honest with you. And I do want to have kids, but I think, like, my thing is, like, I feel like you've got to be able to, like, super all the way love to be able to have kids. And right now, I don't feel like... Have you ever been in love before? Once. Once. Yeah, yeah, once. I think so. Yeah, once. And how long ago was that? A while ago. A while ago. That's what I'm saying about you. I feel like you're just, you're, you're like, you're not cold as yeah. a person, but yeah. like talking to you, it's like I'm trying to find some sort of emotion. Apart but you're getting from... mad emotion though. I'm chatting to you, bro. No, but it's not, um, there's no emotion in you. There's like no, like, um, like if I was to speak about something, maybe I might get a little bit like, I don't know, um, 
soft or you, you just say things so blasé. My mum was this. My dad was this. This happened to me. This happened to me. There's no sort of like, yeah, do you know, like reflecting on it. This is how I feel. You just seem like you're immune because to you know, everything. Yeah, because you know what it is? It's like, what can you really do? Like, with my mum and dad, like, what could I do about that? They got schizophrenia. It's not their fault. So it's like, I'm not going to have, like, any, like, animosity towards people. Yeah, that but not even animosity. Just a little bit of, like, I don't know. Just some, some sort of, like other emotion apart from these are the facts this is my life oh well now i move on yeah because otherwise if i dwell on that shit i might be out here fucking on spice bruv going mad do you know what i mean so i just think it is, it's happened it is what it is isn't it what else can i do so how many girls do you think you slept with a lot how many how like, often do you get checked out no like i used i was the shit i was telling you before that was from before like when i was a bit mad but now Everything's protected and shit in it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so that girl that you was boning the other night that you decided to put up on Instagram yeah, instead yeah. of just had second rounds of your baby mum. Yeah, yeah. Use condoms. Yeah, of course, bruv. Was that real or was that fake? It was real. Really? It was real. So she was on the edge of the bed. Chatting to the baby. Is she still talking to you now? Yeah, of course. So she, you put her up on social media and she still... But you couldn't see her face though. Bruv, if I knew who she was, I would know who that is. But... I guess, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but basically, it is what it is. She didn't give a fuck. She don't really care that much. You couldn't see her face. So I, like, I, there's just something about you that I'm just like, I'm trying to like penetrate through, but... Trying to penetrate, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Everyone's going to be like, oh, ZZ wants to... I can tell she likes classic. Anyone that I interview, everyone's like, I, they think I fancy them. I don't know, man, but you're mad skinny for me, bruv. I don't know. All right, you don't need to I'm keep saying, saying that. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not that skinny, you know. How much you weigh? About 10 stones. Ten, yo, man. No? If you put on like a good three, that would, that would, be, that would be mad. A good three on you would look nice. Nah. A good it, three it'll stone. Just, it'll just go straight to my belly. Oh, are oh, you one of them like... Yeah, it just goes straight to my belly. It doesn't go to my bum or anything. It just goes to my belly. Because if you have... had some cankles, that shit would be hot. If you had like the big ankles. Do you really like that stuff? Yes. Yes, I love cankles. Like sometimes like if I've got a girl's legs in the air, I'll just lick her ankle and her foot, bruv. Just suck her whole toe. Just a big foot. I love it. I love a, just a big everything. Yeah, you're weird as fuck. How's that weird? I just Actually, like big no. Things. That's what you. That's what you like. Yeah, big things, isn't it? But what I've kind never of heard guys any... you like? What kind of guys you like? Do you know? I used to have a thing about guys with bellies. I used to like bellies. You lick nipples. Do I lick if a guy wants me to do it? I think it's weird though. Why do you think it's weird? Like, why do you want me to lick your nipples? Because it's man sensitive there. Is it? Yeah, it's man sensitive. So, like, if a girl's giving me head, like. And she like rubs on my nipples. That's like the bit. If she's like this, give me head and then she's like, that's not my nipples. That's like my shit, bruv. That is the shit. Or if like I'm fucking and I got like, I'm over her like this and I got her legs up, I always tell her like, play for my nipples. So she'll be like. What? Yeah, once, there's a guy said that to me once. He said, yeah, play my nipples. It, it's bang, thought, it bangs. I, I thought it was weird. It's not weird that like, it bangs. Because you're hitting mad sensations. You're like, you, you weird in that you eat ass. Yeah, yeah, I eat ass. Eat, obviously, if you eat ass, you eat vagina. Yeah. You, eat, you just, you enjoy it. You like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I'm, I'm not lying to you, yeah. Like, literally, when I first get for a girl, yeah, like, I like, I like black girls, innit? Mm. Like, black women, like, thick black women. Mm. Like, the first thing I do, yeah, is when she's on the bed, like, my mouth is literally watering just to, like, taste that, bruv. Just open that up. My mouth is watering, bruv. Like, literally, and then, like, if I really like the girl, like, I literally, like, rub my face in it, bruv. Like a Kleenex, bruv. I'm not even lying to you. I'm not even joking with you, bruv. Like, I love that shit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that's like, this, that's how you know you're turned on as well, like, when your mouth's, like, all watering. Like, you salivate before you're fucking in it. Like, obviously, when you're getting aroused, your mouth waters and all that shit. Like, my mouth literally waters. I used to see this thing, yeah? And, like, it used to turn me on because she used to, like, make me beg to eat her pussy. She'd be, she'd be like, you want to eat it? And I'd be like, yeah. Let me eat that. And she'd be like, you sure you want to eat that? I'm like, yeah, let me eat that. And then she'd be, she'd be like, say please. I'm like, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. <laughs> hey. and then she, I, pu- I push my face in it, yeah. I'll be like that, yeah. I push my face in it. And she'll be like, you've had enough. And I'm like, no, no, no. Big man sing, man. All in, man. Oh, my God. This, this is how, like, you're extreme. Like, I'm here yeah. and you're, like, all the way there. But do you know what? No, yeah. this, do you know what pisses me off about this, yeah? You will say this, okay? And people will laugh. Yeah. No one will say anything. But if I said everything that you just said, she's a hoe, she's nasty, nah. Well, if you're talking about like swallowing balls, balls and like yeah. that shit. Like, like it, would, it would be mad. I would get 
ripped online for saying exactly that what you just said if i said the male version of but that then at least you ain't gonna get no dead willy because guys will know what you're coming with innit? the guys know what they need to give you because you've already put it out there yeah but then they then they just assume that i want to have sex all the time and that's not the case just because i talk about sex doesn't mean i want to fuck everyone would you say you're good at sex i mean i guess so what do you mean you guess or what you just lay there like planks like it depends how i feel i'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna lie. So what's it like? So you actually don't go ham in the bedroom? Yeah, I do. Of course I do. Especially, can't, I, don't, I don't want anyone reporting back that I gave them so shit. Let me, so you give head? Yeah, of course. Swallow. Of course. You swallow for real? Yeah, Some why not? Like do you like it? If a guy comes on your face, you find that disrespectful. Uh, that's never happened to me. Why though? Because I, that's something that I just don't want to happen. Why? Because I, that's not something that I would enjoy. Sometimes, like, I lit- like, sometimes I rather, like, I like when a girl swallows, but sometimes I like to come on her face. No, I don't like that. Because I just feel like, yeah, like... No, like, see, to me... Like, one day you're going to get married and, like, I came on your face, it, bro. Exactly yeah. that reason why. Because I think <laughs> there's a level of disrespect when a guy comes on a girl's face. No, that's because you're looking at, like, disrespect. No, you just said it just now. But that's you not disrespect. That's not disrespect. That's just you're, in my mind to know, like, when I see your husband and you, like, you're, walking you're street, I'm have, like, yeah, yeah that's thing over But there. that's a level of, like, I've got one up on you. So that's the reason why I wouldn't let you... But you, you, you and your man ain't got to know that. Like, it's just me for my own satisfaction. Yeah, but it's just... Yeah, but I don't... That's Yeah, that's not a feeling. Have you ever filmed your sex? No. 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 I'm too scared for all that stuff, unless it's on my phone. Really? And even then, I'm scared that someone can hack into the cloud and then see the cloud and then all that stuff. No, I don't see, want it. I filmed bare stuff, yeah, but the only thing that I filmed that I didn't really like was something filmed me. I met these things at a yardie rave, innit? And, like, literally, she was moving, like, mad friendly. And then afterwards, she brought me to her yard <laughs> and, like, her brethren was there. And her brethren was just standing there, like, with her phone out. It was a BBM, like, Blackberry days. Blackberry days. So and she what, had they recorded out. the whole thing? Yeah, like, literally, so I'm just chilling on the bed. And her brethren was like, I'm taking off my Tims and like, I'm taking off for... my clothes. And her brethren was just like that. And I was like, yo, is this bitch going to stand there the whole time? Then we fucked. And then literally, the next day, I was on the fucking train back. Yeah, and I was like, why the fuck did I let this bitch film me, bro? I'm wondering if that sex tape's ever going to come out. Probably not, because it's like, I got a sex tape. Like, that's what, somebody... on Pornhub? Yeah, basically some thing I used to see, like, she fucking... I don't know how this happened, but it just came out. But... Do you think that any girl will take you serious in life? Yeah, of course. Do you, do you like? Do you find it hard to to get to get girlfriends? No, not no. For, not not for girls to fuck you. For girls that actually no. want to take you seriously. No. You don't find it hard. No, not at all. Not at all. Because I'm thinking, what girl would actually wife you? It's mad. It's not mad. It's just like I'm a good guy. In it. Like I'm a cool guy, bruv. Like do you know what I mean, I'm a vibe. No, but you. That's what I'm saying. You online, you don't come across as the cool guy that I see, like that I've had conversations like with. Like right now. Like yeah, that's not how you come across online. Like I would, I would stay away from you if I only knew you from online. <laughs> no, genuinely, what do you say, stay I away would. What do you mean, stay away? I wouldn't even bother like engaging conversation with you. But, but you know what? It's a flip side because if you meet me in real life, then you're like, oh, this guy's a nice guy. They, well, that's what I'm saying. Then there you and go. I can, and then I can see why girls would like you. Do you get what I mean? Because you're quite, you're actually quite calm. Yeah. Like you're well mannered. You say please, say thank you. Yeah. You're, you know, there's been people here today. You've introduced yourself, whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's not how you come across online. Whatsoever. But everyone's got different sides in it. People think like just what on social media is this all you. We're like human beings, and we've got like a million different sides to us, isn't it? So it's like true. You're not just one way in it. Like you're not ZZ Mills talking about ah. Oh, Fucking did da 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 and like I don't like this and I don't like you you I've come here and you're mad fun like I didn't even know you was funny I, I thought am. you'd be mad dead I'm but. funny I'm funny oh I'm funny and skinny funny and skinny <laughs> <laughs> funny and skinny funny don't have a complex about that as well yeah don't don't go ahead I do like, have a complex about, about that. being skinny yeah why don't you eat some food then man I like, do some, but it just doesn't go anywhere and, right. that is probably one of my biggest complex. Like, I know I've got a pretty face, <laughs> but, like... Why don't you just eat food? I do, and it doesn't go What anywhere. kind of food do you eat, though? I eat bear food. What's bear food? Like, chicken, whatever, bloody bloody Start Start rolling with some fat things, man. It'll change your life. <laughs> so, can you not call them fat things? All right. Call them, Big like, things. large. Big things. But I like fat things. There's not a problem. That's my thing. So, if there's any large girls out there... That. Not like fat, not like super fat, like you're built like a fucking tea bag, bruv. Like <laughs> shapely things, do you know what I mean? Okay. Like shapely things. Not just like you're built like a fucking wrestler, bruv. <laughs> or a circle. Like that's dead. Talking about curvy big things. Okay, so we got to wrap up because it's the end and the, uh, they're telling us that we've got to. But I literally probably could talk to you all day because you're actually quite yeah, cool yeah. people. We should chill, you know. We should chill. 
That's what we need to do. <sighs> I'm a bit scared to chill with you. You're not though. You know you want to chill with me, really. Uh, no, I'm, I am a little bit scared to chill with you. You know you want to chill with me, really. I feel like you're one of those people, like, you end up chilling with you and the next thing you know... What? I'm taking your bank card or something? No, <laughs> you're taking my knickers off. And I'm like, how the fuck did we get here? <laughs> 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 but... Um, Okay, so tell the people, oh, everyone knows where to find you, yeah. but tell them just in case. Wait! What? That nude picture you put up the, the other day. Yeah, yeah. What happened to it? Why did you take I it down? I took it off because about 500 people unfollowed me when I put it up. Fuck off. Yeah, 500 men unfollowed me. You stuffed something down, the, you nope, something down there. Nope, that's all me. But it looked a bit, it just looked wide and soft. Nah, like literally I was in my bathroom and I ain't got a fucking boner that's chilling and looking in my mirror. Like, what the fuck? You like some just... fucking pedo, bro. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> just chilling on my ones with a fucking boner. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm out here, bro. That's mad. <laughs> okay, quickly, tell them, tell them. Big Man Tingia, follow me on Instagram, Castillo First. Got a new tune called Yana on Link Up TV premiere this week. Make sure you check that out, bro. Big Man Ting. So you know what to do, like, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your mum. Maybe not this episode with your mum because mom. Castillo is doing a, <laughs> a madness. But yeah, you know what to do. Thank you for locking in ZZ Mills show. I keep burping because I just had some suya. It was really good, but yeah, whatever. Don't know. Gang, gang. Peace.